Hello and welcome back to the Misfits Podcast, rated five stars on iTunes by Bobby Jeff. He says, why is podcast still a thing? Honestly, Jeff, I don't know. Amen. Amen to that. Uh, I'm joined today by my co-hosts, Mason, a.k.a. Zuckles. Going on, cunts. Eric Vivian Matthews, a.k.a. Swagger Souls. Did you just dox me? And of course, the entirety, well, not the entirety, five that, members was of... Is his real name? No. I winked. We're joined yeah. today by <laughs> five members of Goop. <laughs> Call me Carson. Can you, can you explain what that is? Can quick? you explain what that is? Because I'm, I'm, I'm not well, even sure shit. I know what Goop is. Well, shit. <laughs> 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 okay, I'll run through your hey, names. Schlatt. Hey, Schlatt. Yeah. Explain what Goop is. That's, okay. that's pass Schlatt. Pass it on to the next person. Yeah. What? <laughs> 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 Shit. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what this bit is, but I'm going to introduce you now, okay? Okay. <laughs> this is Call Me Carson. Hey, that's me. This is Jay <laughs> Schlatt. This is Travis. Hello. Hi. This is Cooper. Hi. And this is Noah, aka Hello. Hugbox. Hi. And there's uh, a lot of us. There's a lot of you. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we might get a few outnumbered. more. We're, we're, we're outnumbered on our own podcast. Yeah, it's intimidating. For the audio listeners, we have... Travis, Cooper, and Noah sitting on a couch across from us, and then behind them, Schlatt and Carson are sitting on chairs, and it's just this whole thing. It's like yeah. I'm looking at a family portrait right now. How do you guys feel? Family. Uncomfortable. <laughs> Uncomfortable? <laughs> Cramped. <laughs> Cramped. <laughs> Warm. Are you, are you guys okay in that, in that couch? Famine. Famine? Famine. You just ate a lovely dinner. Lovely day. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be a little scuffed because uh, the three people on the couch have to share two mics. So if you hear mm. Cooper just grabbing one vigorously every time he talks, that's why. And Schlatt and Carson are also sharing a mic back there. Yeah. However, Carson's going to hold it in between his legs and I have to just kind of... <laughs> Yeah, I see. It's gonna look really weird, but it's gonna be kind of cool. <laughs> it does sound kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, boys, we've had quite a weekend, haven't we? Bruh, yes, it's yeah, been a moment. Have. It's been a moment. I mean, you guys have been in Australia for almost two weeks now. Way too long. <laughs> You've yeah. been trapped there. Has it actually been like? Two, it's been like two weeks. It's, it's been, been like week. two weeks. Yeah, it's fucking insane. It's been two. When it's were been you? Two weeks. When were you supposed to leave? Uh, like, we were supposed to leave Thursday. Yeah, last Thursday. Like, last Thursday. Uh, Four days, five days ago. ago. Well, yeah. it's it's now Sunday night, and uh, I think it's you, Monday morning, isn't it? Well, yeah, technically, because we're recording this at fucking like one in the morning. But you know, anyway. So I was right. You were right. You were yeah, correct. Right. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, we're all a little bit tired. We but, all had a very long day today. We've had a long weekend. Um, basically, what happened is we went camping. <laughs> I guess all eight of us. Yep. And we went on an adventure together. It was uh, it was fun. Yeah. Before we get, get into camping, did you want to first talk to these guys about how they find Australia? How do you guys find Australia? Yeah. Hey, what's your two-week experience been like? It's like a little America. Mm. It's really weird. Mm. Yeah. It's kind of trippy because you're it's, like, oh, I'm just in California again. And then the people drive the wrong way. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's like if America had a bunch more of like UK European influence, right? Um, especially in the food department. Mm. Yeah. Do, you, do you like the food? I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan. You've been I mean, into the shapes. We've been. <laughs> yeah, Kong Kong yeah, still you were eating. You were eating shapes. You're gonna get me on the shapes. We're gonna already. get you on the shapes. There's there are so many better snacks. I can list off the top of my he head. He listed off shapes. fourteen. Like I listed off fourteen in rapid succession last night mm. in just a shape fueled. Hate, just can you li hatred. can you lift, list them off again? Oh, yeah. well, let's let's get started. Goldfish, mm. never had them. Is it a cracker or yeah. chocolate? Cracker, never had them. Can we explain what shapes are real quick? Okay, so uh, shapes are basically like a national Australian snack. They're like they're baked, not fried, and they're trash. They're a cracker with like flavor on it. They and belong in a garbage can. You're hurting a lot of people's feelings right now. Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> get this: every different flavor of shapes is a different shape. Yeah, it's yeah. fantastic. That's the selling cool. point. That's the only redeeming factor about the snack. The chicken ones have many sides. The barbecue, only a few sides. <laughs> <laughs> they mix it up every time, Schlatt. And they're they're everywhere. And Schlatt they're cannot everywhere. stop eating them. Despite how much he hates them. them, he can't I stop eating them the shapes. I hate them so much, but they're the only thing here besides this, besides up and go, which <laughs> admittedly is, is pretty good. Up and go is, mm. pretty, fucking go is cool. pretty fucking good. Liquid but breakfast. Shapes, like, they come in these these packages that are... 
just small enough to the point where you'd feel like a pussy if you don't eat the entire box, mm -hmm. <laughs> but big enough to the point where you feel like absolute dog shit <laughs> once you do. Fucking <laughs> 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 It's a pussy. Once you do. Each and box everywhere. is pretty big. Like they're, yeah. every, they're everywhere. Yeah. Our manager has, uh, we were at his house last <laughs> night. I thought I had finally gotten away, uh, away from, <laughs> from them mm -hmm. <laughs> for once, and I go upstairs. There's a pallet of them. A pallet yeah, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. of shapes. There's a pallet of everything if you look like hard enough in Ryan's vicinity. Fucking boxes. Just way too many shapes. <laughs> yeah, was I can't keep track of that much. I, think I almost failed geometry. I tried doing <laughs> I tried doing a bit on Instagram. I was going to make a story where I went up to all the chicken crimpy uh, shapes and I took all the boxes and threw them on the floor and then the last one it was going to be like a line. But I started doing it and I didn't like think that far ahead to what the punchline would be so I just fucked up the ending and I was like, oh, I got to do it again. So I, I took all the shapes off the ground and put them back on and then I did a second take, fucked up the second take and I did a third take and I was like, nah, this isn't funny. And so... So That's just, why all of the sh all of the, <laughs> the chicken the chicken crimpy shapes were literally fucking dust in the boxes. And here's the thing. Here's the scary part. What's they that, don't Flap? go away. They you know why? Because if you break shapes, what do you get? More, More shapes. shapes. More shapes. More shapes. Like exactly. asteroids. They never fucking leave. They multiply, Schlen. You can't get rid they're of them. They're terrifying. Until you and, eat them. And look, man, there are so many better snacks. Like, <laughs> d anything you get in, 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 like, an aisle of a supermarket in America will taste better than fucking shapes will. Well, nah. you've said your piece. All what right. I said my piece. <laughs> Every Australian <laughs> listening is done. now upset with you We're because they're such a treasured snack here. But are they really? That honestly, though, since you called them out, I have realized that they are a bit shit. All right. I'll <laughs> they're admit bad. It. They're, they're not the bad. best. They're average at best. They're okay when you're stoned, but these two fucking losers are sober Andes. I mean, everything's okay when you're stoned. Mm hmm. Even this podcast. Shape last <laughs> My bad for having taste. Okay. <laughs> oh. Mm. I don't know about taste. Yeah, we, yeah. I don't know if you have taste, Carson. Anyway. What? Shapes aside, <laughs> taste aside, <laughs> how the rest of you can find in Australia. Travis, what's your Pretty favorite good. thing so far? Favorite thing? Yeah. Um, hang in. Hang in. Uh, hang in. in. Yeah, we've been hanging Fuck a lot. Out. It's yeah. been fun, hey. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we didn't go to, we didn't even go to the convention. We were here for PAX Aus mainly, mm. uh, and we didn't step foot in the convention center. I mean, yeah. I think, mm. you know, I, this is my second convention. Uh, first one was TwitchCon like two, three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, dude, the, consistently the best part has just been hanging with, with the boys. Yeah. That's why people go to these yeah. conventions. Yeah. It's an excuse. Pretty much. It's all about hanging with the boys. Mm. And yeah. But we, you guys have been here like two weeks now, so we've been doing a favor to hang. And we just won't leave. We, we just yeah. won't leave. We thought we were. We thought we'd be gone on Thursday. <laughs> we're like the shapes, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's more of you, and yeah, you just won't leave. You just will not get out of our country. But we've had a good. <laughs> we've had a good weekend, though, to end it off on. I think. I mean, Carson, would you say it was a success this weekend? Eh. <laughs> 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 that's, I mean, it's been fun. I think uh, most mm -hmm. of us here are wacky because we're sleep deprived. Oh, very yeah. sleep deprived. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, I'm fine. But well, I mean, let's just you. let's just talk about what happened, okay? So, like, when did we decide that we were going camping this weekend? I I have no idea. It was like a Friday or something. <laughs> Ryan decided. I think yeah. it was on Thursday. I think it was on the day you guys were supposed to leave. I think he goes, "Nah, you guys need to like go camping." He was like, yeah. "You guys want to go camping tomorrow?" And we're like, "Sure, let's do it." Well, like it made sense to record something with yeah, you guys while you were true. here. Yep. Camping was never on my to-do list when I came here. Yeah, neither was mine. But you know, yeah. it was. I mean, it made it was a good time. Hopefully for it a was good an video. Awesome time. You know, it was a good time. But um, yeah, we basically all kind of group up at Ryan's house on Saturday morning. But in their case, grouped up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. God, I love the show. I love doing this show. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be here all night. We, we, we know you're our co-host. We, oh. we grouped up at uh, Ryan's house on Saturday morning, ready to go, more or less. Although I don't think any of us really know, like, knew what was happening, as mm. tends to be the case when Ryan organizes things. Uh, there are two rental vans. Chad, anything for views is there. Mm. Box is there. <laughs> the team is there. We got Manuel and Chris and a few other people, and we start just packing the vans filled with blankets and pillows. Air and mattresses, air a mattresses, bow and arrow, tents, hatchets, of course, uh, a bunch of shit. Yeah, and all we really knew was that we were driving an hour and a half out of the city to near Ryan's parents' house. 
to camp in a field somewhere on a farm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's pretty much all we knew. It's pretty much all we knew. I so, didn't know I was going camping for for a long while, actually. Wait, really? in the van even? No, not in the van. Yeah. I knew I was going camping in the van. So, I was like, well, I'm ga- I'm camping now. So when did, <laughs> you, when did you find out that you were actually camping? Uh, Like the night before, and I stared at Ryan with soulless eyes mm. as, he, as he said, you're going camping. <laughs> I've been there. It was so you, were, you were not pleased about this news. I hate camping, man. Why do you hate camping? Because it's the worst fucking thing. Have you Why? done? Have you done it before? Yeah. Did you have a bad experience? Most of the time. What but happened? It, I went camping. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, the entirety of the trip, Carson was wearing a shirt that said "The Great Outdoors" on it. <laughs> yeah, you wore the perfect shirt for it. Um, and now I'm wearing a Misfit shirt. Misfits dot store. That's right. Hey, thanks you. for the plug. You're buddy. welcome. You're and also J Subs. And also Gamer uh, Subs. Gamer Subs keeping me awake. Yes, literally the only thing powering the podcast at this late hour. Would you like some Carson? No, I'm okay. Um, but maybe later. Maybe later. Mm. Using what code? Code Misfits. Yeah. Code Misfits. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> anyway, what were his, uh I mean, how were the rest of you feeling about camping? Were you excited? I wanted to say Carson is afraid of building Ikea furniture, so camping is like a whole nother level. I'm not afraid, I just despise it. I've been pushing (laughs) Carson to go camping with us since I think like the day that we moved in when he was very apprehensive Mm -hmm. at any of the moving stuff. I said, we're going camping at some point. He went, as he tends to, he goes, no. (laughs) And then when Ryan said camping, I immediately just went, Thank you. Yes. <laughs> you have changed him. Mm. You've changed his course. So, I thought it was fantastic. So are you a big camper? I'm changed. a big camper. Really? Yeah. Like with your family or just with the friends? Occasionally. Not, just on occasion? Just occasionally. Nice. Yeah. No, it's a good time. No, I was you, definitely... Into it? Oh, You're yeah. excited? That's mm-hmm. cool. That's good. Travis, what about you? I was you? hyped. What, what, what about me? I mean, how'd you feel about <laughs> the idea of going camping? Were you excited? Were you nervous? Have you been camping much before? I don't before? know. It was just, I didn't really know what to expect going in at all. Mm. Like, that was the first time, like, uh, doing anything like that with any of you people. Yeah. Mm. Was it fun? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool, right? Well, yeah. Well, I guess let's get started talking about the drive. Uh, we had a van. <laughs> it was all of Goop, uh, me, Fitz, Mason, Bucks, and Chad, Chad, anything for views. Mm-hmm. And uh, on the way, we're driving on the highway, and we stopped at a bottle of so self serve uh, drive in, uh, what, like a liquor store? It's like a liquor store you can drive in, yeah. Yeah, so we drive this giant van filled with 10 people up to the, up to the place. We all get out, <laughs> and there's this giant security guard that's just uh, looking at us as we're going through. And then when we park, he looks through the window and he recognizes Fitz. Yeah, he's like, Oh, stop, Fitz, it's you, brother. I was like, What's yeah. going on, man? <laughs> he's like, Yeah, no, watch your videos. <laughs> yeah, then I had to put my helmet on very quickly mm. in the back. And then he like looks around and goes, Oh, shit, Swagger Souls. Yeah. He didn't see me bef- before because I didn't have the helmet on. He was hilarious, man. We oh, he was awesome. We were filming the entire thing, by the way, so hopefully that footage will <laughs> see the light of day. Mm. Um, well, he was eyeballing us first because yeah. Fitz tried to pull in the wrong <laughs> way. Yes. No driving. I did. And he d- he just uncrosses his arms <laughs> like, what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> uh, we thought we thought he was not going to be very friendly to us, but then you rolled down the window. And yeah, I split things over, you know. Yeah. He knew who I was. Nice job, man. Hey, thanks, hey, buddy. Good job. You did a pretty decent job driving. <laughs> Did I? Were you pleased? <laughs> I'd it. take it over anybody else who offered yes. to drive. Mm. Yeah, like that's Chad. why I drove. Yeah, <laughs> like, I was like, oh no, I haven't, I haven't drank in like thirty minutes, and we're fine. <laughs> so put me up there. Yeah, I wasn't that thrilled about driving, but I knew I could do it. I mean, I drove us on the last camping trip, and I drove the RV. So mm. you I'm didn't drive driver. the whole distance with the RV. No, but I drove a long way, you know. Yeah, drove like a good eight. Well, the way there, I drove like nine hours. Yeah, yeah. But on the way back, we like took shifts. Yeah, but uh, anyways, we get stopped at this uh, bottle low, and Chad proceeds to buy it like a fuck. He bought liquor. too much. <laughs> he bought way he bought too so much, much fucking liquor. liquor. It was crazy. Nobody wanted to drink, uh, go camping, and sink a lot of fucking liquor. Mm, Beers would have been fine. I don't know about all the liquor though. Mm. Did we need three bottles of Jack Daniels? <sighs> no. It, well, I mean, one of them like survived to the end, and he dropped it. In well, the van, no, like, he, as we pulled he, in. He cr- crashed two together by accident and cut his hand open. What, so he broke two bottles? I think it oh was I think it was one, just one. I think he uh, broke a whole bottle of whiskey unopened. Yeah, yeah. in the van. Now, it's, now it reeks. We've got to return Jeez. it. 
Anyway, we buy way too much liquor, and Chad starts drinking, and Buck starts drinking. Were you drinking on the way there? Nah. I don't know. I was just focused on driving and not killing everyone in the car. Although towards the end, I did some, have some fun with that. I was swerving around. I was enjoying myself. Well, you were swerving because the ground was completely soaked. Yes. We started this drive. I was like, this is going to be sick. We're going mm. camping, <laughs> camping with the boys. Ten minutes in, we look forward, and the sky is just completely black. We're yes. we're ominously approaching just a, a, a looming sky, yeah. mm. absolutely well, foreboding. It, it started raining as we were driving, like multiple times, and yeah. then it would stop and get sunny, and then it would rain again. So, yeah, my hope my, my hopes weren't exactly high for camping. I was thinking like we're probably going to be spending a wet night in the marsh, but I mean. I mean, we did. We got there. <laughs> yeah, you definitely did. did. Yeah. I, yeah, but it could have been a lot worse. You know what I mean? Like it could have been like a thunderstorm the entire time. Could have been sleeping in a lake. Yeah. Mm. It could have been a wetter night in the marsh. It could have been a wetter night in the marsh. It was all right. And did anything happen on the way there that was eventful? I mean, we stopped for a bit. Chad showed us his dick. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mason took a piss. When did that happen? Well, remember we were stopped at the farm around like thirty minutes out. Oh yeah. And then Chad got naked. Well, there were a lot of times where Chad got naked. Yeah, so. this is probably the first time. Oh. This is the time where like you realize, oh, this is going to be a thing the entire what, time. What do you think? Are you guys uncomfortable when you see Chad naked? <laughs> like, what do you see his penis? Well, I mean, his little I'm not cock comfortable. And, with his little cock and balls out? Do, I do, mean, do you go like, eh? I'm not uncomfortable, you, but like... Like, can you stare at it? Can you feel? stare at it and not be grossed out? Can you stare at it and go, yeah, it's just a, a cock and balls? This looks I mean, like a dead bat. Yeah. <laughs> Are you? I'm desensitized to it. I've seen yeah. his cock and balls multiple times, and it's just like normal. I mean, I've if seen you penis to put, before, mm. it's like, well, yeah, it's. I'm not gonna. Look, I mean, Chad. Chad shows his cock and balls <laughs> a lot, and after knowing Chad for multiple years, you know, it's kind of like nothing at this point for us. But it's yeah. really not. It's fucking hilarious. Every day I've seen Chad, I've also seen his cock and balls. It's like that for a while. Yeah. It's the initiation period, mm. you know. Eventually, you, you just won't even notice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so yeah, I mean, we drove there. It was pretty uneventful. I was playing tunes the whole time. It was raining. It was getting sunny. And then we arrive at the farm, and we're greeted by this like long dirt path, a gate, and then like this muddy trail into some green pasture. And we could see, like, Ryan was already there. There was, like, a house on top. There were cows, and there were horses. The whole fucking way, Mason was saying he wanted to tip a cow. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to tip a fucking cow. <laughs> he, was like eight, he was, like, eight beers in. Okay, okay, let's talk about the cow tipping, because mm. I think it's totally possible, right? Right, Mason? I think it is. Like, oh, logistically? It's definitely possible. If you, if you could push a cow over, there's no chance it would get back up. It would get back up. <laughs> nah, fuck What do you think is going to happen? It's going to roll on its side and just not be able to get up? Or it's going to go on its yeah. back with its legs up? Well, cows fold their... Because, you know, like... You know Jar Jar Binks off Star Wars? Yeah. 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 How he's like, kneecaps bend in woods. Of course. Sure. <laughs> yeah. It's like that with cows. Like, that's why they it's, sleep on their stomachs. Is that is it like that with cows? Yeah. But like, what? How does that affect the situation? <laughs> so it means they sleep on their stomach, and if they fall over, they're fucked for good. Why do you think that they can't like just get up if they're on their side? Like, why does the kneecap thing matter for that? Because all their weights in their body. You're making no sense. What do you mean? All their weights in their body, they can't shift. They have. That. Have they you seen a cow's legs? They're muscular. Yeah, they're, but they're, they're, they're supporting that weight the whole day. It doesn't compensate for the body weight. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> so you're saying that if you pushed a cow hard enough and it fell on its side, it's fucked. Yes. Without human intervention. Unless they like headbutt each other to get each other up. Or like his cow friend comes house him out. Yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. All right. Well, we're going to have to see if cows can get up on their feet, guys. I mean, I thought you were actually going to try tip one, although it probably would have been a really bad idea. Nah, <laughs> you probably would have gotten, gotten, fast, bro. You gotten fast. kicked in the head. Mm. They're fucking fast. You can't catch those things. Yeah. Well, I mean, when we drove in, okay, first of all, we drove into the farm and I was driving very recklessly because I'd been driving for a while. And at this point, I just wanted to fuck with everyone in the car. So I'm swerving on this dirt road. And then we pull in, like, remember, we passed the horses. There were two huge staunch horses in a paddock. They were so cute. Yeah, they They're were cute. Nice horses. I wanted to run them over. I mean... I kind of wanted to avoid them because it looked like they would fuck us up if we got close. I mean, we could try tipping them. I don't think that's a good idea at all. I don't know. I, I bet a horse can't get up if you tip it over. What do you reckon, Mason? Yeah, a horse could get back up. horse could easily get back yeah, up, they, obviously. Their legs bend inwards and they're more stronger than cows. Uh, do their legs bend? <laughs> their legs don't bend inwards. They're horses. They have like normal 
<laughs> bendy legs. Yeah, they, got, they don't oh. look right. Well, that's I'm pretty probably, sure that the cow's legs don't bend inwards either. That's yeah, just they, like they, 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 they fall do. They fall do. They do not. The hind legs do. They're exactly. So that's how they sit but on the their front stomachs. Legs do. That's how they sit on their stomachs. But where else? Would they? They're not going to sit on their ass, Mason. They have four legs. Yeah, no. How else are they going to lie down? Because then their back legs bend in woods and their front ones bend normally. So they like sit on their front legs. Where are you? Where are you getting this info? I saw cows laying down on the pastures, uh, like near little lakes and shit. They, yeah, they were just dude, they were back, just laying there. They were like rolled back legs, over like that. Their back legs bend opposite ways. So we're driving through this field. <laughs> 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 we drive past these horses we open a gate we go into another field which is the field that we're camping in and like i'm doing donuts i'm skidding and then i park and a whole bunch of cows come up to the fence and they start looking at us and that's when i mean i hopped the fence and fucking chased them yeah you started chasing <laughs> the cows yeah uh, they, they got so scared there was like 40 of them running away from me yeah i mean they probably thought you would tip them and then they can't get back up yeah exactly dude cows are intelligent <laughs> <laughs> cows are fucking and yet, intelligent and yet they can't get back up if you tip them over yeah apparently. they suspected it okay Fuck if mason comes over and tips us with the we can, we're done, <laughs> exactly. we're done. <laughs> it's gg um yeah but you did not tip any cows right no i really wanted to though you wanted to reenact really the scene to... from cars right which one cars one the one where they tip that's where they tip the cows and cars one there's a very specific scene we're getting at right now have you not seen that uh, I haven't seen. Wait, cars. in the movie the, Cars, they tip a cow. Yeah, was I it? Mean, was I it mean, like it's not a real cow? Like wait, so yeah, what a was, yeah, the tractor. Oh, the, it, the tractor was a cow. Yeah, that's. Have the, you uh, seen Cars One? The stand. I, I must have been like an infant. An infant. You're what? the same age. I saw it when I was like, you know, old enough. Why haven't you seen Cars One recently? <laughs> I haven't had the. You want to watch Cars One? No. Okay. <laughs> 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 no. A- anyway, Cars Three is a pretty good movie. I is haven't it? seen it. Yeah. Oh, you heard it. Is it Planes? Die? Planes? I yeah. haven't seen Planes. Yeah. Is it, isn't that like the Cars spinoff? Yeah. I don't think that one's like good. Planes. Yeah. Why? Really? What do you base that off? Oh, I mean. So we're no driving through this planes. field, and uh, hey, no, wait <laughs> a second. <laughs> no, I mean no one talks about planes. Eh. So have you drive- seen Planes? <laughs> I haven't seen the movie Planes. Well, of course you haven't, because it's probably shit. <laughs> it's a kid's movie. Yeah, I mean, so is Cars, but you've seen Cars. <laughs> when I was a kid. Listen, even kids have taste. Mm. All right, so we were in this field. So we're in this field. <laughs> so we're in this field. So we're in this field. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, basically, we know that we're camping. We know that we have to set up our tents, so we start filming i guess yeah we started yeah we started filming Mm. us setting up the tents because we we arrived at maybe what like six 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 thirty yeah which means we had about an hour of daylight before it starts like gradually getting much much darker and we needed to set up the tents before it got dark because otherwise it would be like midnight we'd all be fucked up and we wouldn't be able to set our tents and we wouldn't be able to sleep and it was not raining and we had a very strict time limit on when it would start raining and when we needed to have our tents set up the first thing we set up was a fiesta. A fiesta. Yeah, oh, you're talking about awesome. the, the, the canopy thing? Yeah, it was yeah. like a little. It did nothing. It did nothing. It However, just kind of sat there. Yeah, well, and rain protected a chair. Rain goes sideways <laughs> in the wind, so it just kind of just got everything that was under it fucked. And that was fine. I mean, Carson was sitting in an oversized lawn chair underneath the fiesta. <laughs> It was like a it was a normal size lawn chair it for, was for really big people. <laughs> it was a huge oversized chair and Carson was sitting there with like a ten gallon hat on, just going, What for? <laughs> <laughs> As per your request. <laughs> yes. Fitz came up to me uh, when I like when I first put the hat on and was like, Just can can you just say what for? Like mm. constantly. And yeah. so I did. And I, I sat there and I said I said my voice lines, I said what for? I said this ain't my first rodeo mm. and yeah and would you like coming <laughs> on down to my saloon and it, you know i gave out quests and it was funny oh it was so funny it was Watch a great the misfits bit. video guys I'm, or or if it's not a misfits video it's on the b-roll channel aka goop aka goop mm. by the way what is goop oh that question again mm. oh, yeah. you should probably explain it now uh, before 
you know, later. It is a group of seven content creators that are coming together and making a, a channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to, we have a podcast called Goopcast. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we have a, we have a channel we're launching here soon. That's going to be uh, IRL content. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Nice. Check it out, please. Yeah, it's going to be cool. How do you spell it? Um, Mason, how do you spell it? G O O P. Hey. Yeah, that's good. Nice. You good, did a good everyone. job with that. Yeah. <laughs> Mason's kind of like my student, I think. I think I'm so. going to teach him my. Uh, I'd love to learn your ways. My vast knowledge. <laughs> yeah, but like, how broad is that spectrum? <laughs> 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 I have a lot up in here that I don't know what to do with because mm. it's not useful. Well, how can I learn that? I mean, we'll we'll just work on it. Okay. <laughs> what was your guys' impression of the situation up at this point? Like, how were you feeling about the situation? How was the drive? I was in tent building mode. You were in tent building mode? Yeah. Mm. Ready to go it took us building. forever to figure out how to build that <laughs> fucking tent. I yeah. did it in like two seconds at that one point. Yeah, you guys like know why nine. I like. Sorry, you guys know why I like camping. Why is that, Carson? Because it's intense. Hey, no. What was your uh, impression of the situation? Because it's this, intense. Yeah, I got it. I got <laughs> it. <Carson. laughs> it's like a. It's All like right, a. So we got there, and <laughs> Chad just kept throwing booze around the vehicle. So we got there. I was very confused, mm -hmm. lost, <laughs> wandering, uh -huh. and I turned around. Cooper was responsibly building the tent. And I looked underneath the Fiesta and I saw the throne. Yes, with Carson set atop <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, with Carson sitting on that. And I said, I'm feeling like a Fiesta. Yeah. And so I kind of hung out under the Fiesta for a while. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, your guys' your guys' tent came along great. Ours, mm -hmm. not so much. <laughs> I but, helped set your guys' yeah. tent up so yes. well. Did a good no job. Rain yeah, inside. and I promised you that you'd be allowed to sleep in it. And then you didn't. didn't. Mm. But that was your own choice. Well, we had like... Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had two like big long like six people tents we set up one the first one took about an hour to set up in all honesty like it, well, took a, it was a process because we kept uh, we kept mixing around the poles there were like two sets of fiberglass poles two each mm -hmm. and we kept trying to use the long one where the short ones were supposed to be going and we didn't even know that they were short ones and then he found them and then it was all fixed yeah we consulted the manual but it didn't Really. It was it was written in broken English, and there were only two pictures. Yep. So we did the best what we had. Eventually, we got it set up, and then yeah, we had another tent, which was where Cooper and Noah ended up sleeping <laughs> in. Oh yeah. Was, your... By the time we were at the second tent, it was pitch black. Yes. And it was starting to rain. Yeah. Yes, it was. We raining. had to put the weather covers on on the yeah. tents. We secured ours perfectly. It was it was completely pitched down. Mm -hmm. Yours uh, maybe. Not so perfect. It was pitched down in theory before mm. we went up to go grog by the fire. Right. Mm. And then we came back down and it was flapping a little bit, but I was like, it'll hold. It's time for yeah. bed. <laughs> and then bedtime came. <laughs> and some point at four or five in the morning, the whole thing <laughs> whipped right off <laughs> in the wind and the rain. And mind you, I immediately. Woke up because I actually started getting a mouthful of water. Because <laughs> <laughs> my head was sticking out from under, from under the covers. Were you dreaming? And like, what did you think no, was happening in oh, your dream? I just woke up and I was like, cold. And then all of a sudden, like I noticed PTSD. that there was water in my mouth. And I remember the sound that I made. I went, oh. <laughs> and I looked over at Cooper. And there was nothing there. Like, he was just completely submerged underneath the blankets. Right. And I was, like, looking around. I was like, should we do something about this? And then I just looked down, and I saw that there were two more blankets. And I just kind of pulled them over me. And I fell back asleep. And then I woke up the next day. And apparently somebody had come in the night and hatcheted our air mattress. And I slept through that. No, too. no. It what? was, it was, was right, it was right oh, before Cooper woke that. up. Right before we woke you guys up, uh, Ryan had the camera. Uh, his friend Jordan... Uh, was walking around. He had a, uh, a, a like a hatchet in his hand, and then uh, to wake you up, <laughs> he it fucking work. slashed the air mattress, <laughs> and it just deflated. Woke up Cooper, but you were still asleep. 
Yeah, it completely <laughs> deflated, and he was on the ground for like a good. Your three first or four one minutes. dead in a fucking horror movie, dude. <laughs> that oh, I never sleep, but apparently something. Like maybe he's the one that survives totally because he's fun. so oblivious to everything. <laughs> maybe yeah, he was so yeah. under the blankets they wouldn't even know. Mm. Can we set the stage of the camping area a little yes. bit? Yes, please set the stage, Carson. There was so much shit yes. everywhere. <laughs> and there was, was also just shit. a dead carcass. Yes. Yeah, there was a and dead Noah poured about that. one out for it. Well, there I was... What, what carcass <laughs> was, like, right to the... Just to the left or the right of the camp area, there was a dead animal. Just the bones remained. The skull and the spine. Rest in peace. And a little Rest bit of peace. flesh and fur on that little bastard, too. What, what, what animal do you guys think it was? I think I, it was a baby cow. Oh, that's Ooh. sad. Okay. It probably was, probably though, got right? Tipped. Yeah, yeah, it got tipped. Yeah, yeah. Nice. 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 fucking tipped the thing. Yeah. <laughs> he just Couldn't turned the bones. <laughs> tipped it, it just immediately despawns into the carcass remains. Yeah. No, I mean, it probably was a cow, right? Mm -hmm. It was either that or like a dog or something. No, uh, it was a cow. It was a tipped cow. It was a cow. But yeah, no, it, was, no it, was, it, was, it was on a big pasture. There was shit everywhere. Not only giant mud piles of cow shit, but also kangaroo droppings everywhere. There were roos chilling out, hopping around. Shout mm. out to the roos. Shout out to the roos. <laughs> Shout out. Yeah, there was a little cow pen uh, mm -hmm. right right across. There was uh, It was just open field for like hundreds of feet, yeah, hundreds of meters. Behind us up a hill with some trees <laughs> and like... Uh, like a rainforest area was yeah. a little hut, which is where Ryan and the management team stayed and slept. And Chad slept up there as well. Yeah. If we wanted to get to that hut or where the big fire was, we had to get over uh, a barbed wire fence, uh, which was really fun. Yeah. Every single time. At one point when we were sitting up the tents, we just hear an explosion from, mm. <laughs> from up yeah. the hill <laughs> where a, the fire it, was. It was a boom. And I said, I was like, it sounds like someone threw a deodorant can in there. Yeah. And then we found out later that that's exactly what someone did. I thought we might have been under fire. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Sorry, out, flashbacks. The, field. <laughs> the, cows <laughs> fight, the cows are fighting back. You're just wide-eyed. just like, fuck. You're a scared person? I was terrified. Yeah, you hate camping. I hate You're on camping, edge. <laughs> dude. Oh, my gosh. Don't get me started. Um, camping in shapes. They go hand in hand. <laughs> How did your night go, Carson? My night was comfy as hell. You want to know why? 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 That? why I got a hotel. You want to know why? Because I am a pussy. Bitch cunt. Yeah. You're a bitch cunt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This cunt gets a fucking hotel and doesn't even sleep in the tents. With the boys. And With you know what? what? I woke up. With bed bugs, I hope you got fucking bed bugs. I didn't get, I didn't get bed bugs. I woke up with a nice night of sleep under my belt. That's actually. bullshit. So did I. I'm <laughs> not even tired right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not even yeah. tired. <laughs> Me and Bucks had to sleep on the ground, and it was like sleeping on microscopic mountains. Yeah, as did I. As <laughs> oh did my I. god, dude. Yeah, later that night we were falling asleep in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'll explain. Okay. So it was me, uh, Bucks, Me, Zuckles, Trav. So yeah, and Travis came in our tent as well. Yeah, and swag. Swags. But Bucks and Zuckle, uh, Bucks and Zuckles were like next to each other at the end of the tent, <laughs> and they just kept no, complaining good, about like the state of their comfort level, like every five seconds, and then laughing it or like it felt like a massage chair that didn't move. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zuck was like, "Oi, Cam, you know like massage chairs?" I was like, "Yeah, buddy." He's like, "You know how they got all the little like pokey parts on them and they're moving around?" I was like, "Yeah." He's like. This is like that, but they don't fucking move. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just, it's just. You kept saying that it feels like you're just lying on like a hundred microscopic mountains. Yeah, it and literally they're just felt digging like into that. your back. Yep, there's no comfort at all. And Plus, I, I didn't have a pillow either, so I was putting my head on my little bag with mm -hmm. a deodorant can in it, so my neck was just bent. Yeah, <laughs> I thankfully had an air mattress, so I was living first class compared yeah. to you and Bucks. I had an air mattress and I used my hoodie as a pillow. Travis, yeah, you're I on slept the ground, on the right? ground as well. I yeah. did like one blanket and I used my hoodie as a pillow and I had another blanket over me. You slept fine though. Yeah. I mean, I kind of well, imagine you were comfortable, but you slept. No, yeah, I slept a little bit. Yeah, but yeah. you weren't complaining as much as we were. <laughs> well, you guys would be quiet for like two minutes and then you would just start laughing. And be like, it's so fucking uncomfortable. Because <laughs> there's a 0% chance we're getting sleep. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think the ground, like being on the ground, you just put me on bucks on this wavelength of just mm. we're both uncomfy as fuck you were also both just on tinder for like an yeah. hour yeah. yeah we were on tinder for ages <laughs> like bucks matched with this like local girl and uh mason kept trying to convince him to like pass her on to him yeah he, was like, he, sh he should have 
<laughs> she, she, was, she was hot as fuck, you know. I wanted to, you know. Well, you you were know her. you were salty because no one replied to you, and <laughs> yeah. so the entire time you was like, "Fuck, surely just pass her on to me, man." And he surely. didn't. He didn't. Of course he didn't. Dude, he liked your eyes, bro. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he didn't. No, she she said she said she liked his eyes, and I'm like, mate, she does she does not just want to sleep with you. She wants to be in a relationship full commit yeah. to a relationship and i'm like nah you got to pass her on to me mate yeah but i don't think you realize how drunk you were because you said that like 10 times like over and over again i drank a lot <laughs> yes i'd like at least 12 or 13 standard drinks yes. oh easily easily more can you remember anything else he said swagger i just remember laughing at that conversation you're of, gonna root her or not <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i was asking if he was gonna fucking root her or not because i was like if you're not fucking let me know because you know but and you're calling him like a dog cunt because yeah. he was like, no. Yeah, like, he was being pass. a dog ass cunt. He's leaving tomorrow and he wouldn't even pass her on to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just there listening to this like it's a podcast. Like, you know, not really caring that they're keeping me up because it's so entertaining. And yeah. Uh, I mean, fuck, I'm so disappointed. Yeah, I slept okay. But anyway, let's rewind because we skipped some details. Wait, before we keep going, you know, I super boosted on Tinder. Uh huh. And that gives you like a three hour boost period. Right. Guess uh -huh. how many matches I got in the first two hours? Four? Zero. What? Yep. Sucks to be you. Damn how disappointing bro. is that? Yeah. What what kind of pictures you got on there? I have some really good fucking pictures up. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Are There's you wearing one... like a button down and shit? No, no, yeah, no. He's no, got no. the new <laughs> iPhone 11. He's got a great picture of his cock. <laughs> the wide angle. Why no. would you put that on Tinder? One of the pictures was just you naked on a... Uh, on the mantelpiece. Yeah, it's me naked on the marble fireplace. Oh, yeah, no. You probably don't know why. With that Maybe one. they were intimidated. Mm. Oh, fuck. And, it, <laughs> and almost all of the photos, you have a beer in your hand, so that might have driven some of them away. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Fuck <laughs> Tinder, man. Tinder's trash. I feel like you can uh, definitely game the system on Tinder. Mm. Me in oh, particular, yeah? or just anyone? Uh, anyone. Even you, Carson? Yeah, I'm a love doctor. Oh, yeah? yeah. It's like tipping cows. We're going to do, we're gonna do a, a... Yeah, it's like tipping cows. Yeah, except you tip a girl over, they can't do anything. <laughs> Moving on, guys. <laughs> so... <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I don't Moving on, know. We're going to do a <laughs> relationship <on. laughs> advice episode of the Goopcast. Oh, yeah? And, and it's going to be really good. Oh, yeah? What's your... Biggest piece of uh, relationship advice, Carson? Uh, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, pretty solid advice. Pretty solid advice. Thank you. Yeah. This has been uh, um, The Love Doctor. This is such a surreal so episode. Uh, anyway, what else happened? You boys remember anything funny? Anything that stood oh, out yeah, to you? Oh yeah, we were trying to get, we when we were bringing our mattresses down mm -hmm. oh, from right. the what'd you guys what do you guys call it a ute okay. that yeah, yeah. the ute the utility vehicle oh, the pickup yeah. truck there was a bunch of blown up air mattresses that we had to transport to our tents in order to sleep and as we were doing it it started to rain really really hard mm. and it was in complete pitch black and Travis was leading us down the giant hill from the <laughs> cabin to the <laughs> fucking uh, camp and we made a like he, he led us like the wrong way we had to double back <laughs> it was pouring rain by the time we got to the barbed wire we had to chuck the fucking air mattress which is already soaking wet on top mm. because of the rain and when it lands it hits the wet grass so it's, it's fucking cold and wet <laughs> on both sides and mm. then it was just like all right yeah we, we can't really use these yeah but one, one got nicked by the barbed wire and deflated oh is that what happened yep that's so hilarious yeah we just left them under the fiesta Dude, in hopes that the rain would stop in that dry the barbed wire and the fiesta were like two points in that and at the camping position were just like the camping place that like Set it, set the whole thing. Mm. I mean, for the audience at home, we might not have explained what the fiesta is exactly. It's literally just like a tent with no sides. It's like a gazebo thing that you just yeah. put up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not it very effective. It was called the fiesta. It was called a fiesta deluxe three point oh, Travis, <laughs> and it was Shit. epic. All right, mm. it was a good product. <laughs> mm. Hey, cover your mouth before a fly goes in there, Carson. I see you yawning. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I yawned. Yeah, in a word. Listen to the audio podcast instead of watching, and you won't have to see me open my mouth. Wow. There you go. Great plug. I person. remembered something funny. <laughs> What's that, Cooper? 
when it started raining and we were all around the fire mm -hmm. and then it's just like stick it out pray yeah pray. we're yeah. all praying oh, wow. in a oh, yeah. for the rain to stop <laughs> and then it we, just keeps going yeah, mm. well we were all sitting around we made this giant bonfire uh, as it got dark it was going on for a while they were cooking sausages so after we set up our tents we went upstairs we had a little bit of a snag had uh, had some saucies and mm -hmm. uh what else? What else was uh, it? Was the sausage yeah, soup? Oh yeah, yeah. And some buns. Yeah, and some, some buns. buns. Some uh, some some bread rolls. And we beans, put in, bro. Yeah, and beans, beans. canned beans. Get the beans, man. <laughs> we had uh, yeah, we had <laughs> apple pies as well. We'll, we'll get to this. Mm. Um, the soup was put on the hot coals for like thirty-five minutes, and it was canned soup. And when we took it off, it had uh, it, <laughs> it had boiled off and thickened into a almost clam chowder consistency, mm. and it uh, it was meant to be chicken vegetable soup, <laughs> and uh, it had the entire outside rim was just burnt charcoal, and someone just started mixing it up and mixed all the charcoal into it. And I tried some, and it was fucking terrible. Yeah. So uh, that was a bust. The soup was a bust. The the sausages were good. Yeah, they were good. You could have always eaten some shapes. Oh, we did have shapes. Oh, we, had we, shapes. Shapes. we had shapes. <laughs> we had shapes. We had shapes. Mason was beers. passed out on the couch hoarding them. Mm. Oh yeah. I, no, you were throwing well, them around. I was, like I was, I was next to you every right. time I offered you. You you just take more. Well, no, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> did not happen. I did not have any shapes that night, mate. You had a fuck. I know my. Shapes. I know oh, you, my, you had you shapes. Had shapes. We, I had like. I had like. No, I don't think I had shapes. <laughs> How drunk were you? You were eating shapes was, the entire honestly, time. Honestly, I don't remember half the night. <laughs> At one point in time, uh, we were all so cold. This was before anyone went to bed. Mm -hmm. um, and we just went to the cabin and we it would, we took every blanket and put them on top of me, Schlatt, and Mason. Mm. It was fucking comfy. Well, it yeah, was comfy. Because we were out there and it started raining by the fire. Yeah. And... You know, Scooper's saying we tried praying and it just did not stop. So we thought, okay, we'll hit back into the hut. And then we walk in and we just see you guys on the couch just passed out under just a pile of mattresses. Well, actually. Or blankets, rather. You didn't even see Mason. He's nearly suffocated. Why? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, where is Mason? And you guys were like, I don't know. Where is he? And That's I look so at this huge pile. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. And okay. you sat on me and I saw the light. <laughs> you saw the light? <laughs> I saw the light. <laughs> what, you had a hard time breathing under there? Yeah, I was, I was nearly out cold. You didn't struggle at all. Yeah, because I was just accepting it. <laughs> You look very cozy, though. I was cozy. You were so cozy, yeah. in fact, that you kind of just snuggled up there until, like, way later in the evening. You almost fell asleep. And then we, like, convinced you to come down and sleep in the tent. Yeah. Mm. I know. I was I was kind of cut that I was going to miss out on it. So I'm like, fuck it. I'll come. Mm. And it was worth. Good of you. It was Good worth. It. Although I had to sleep on microscopic mountains, it was worth. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I mean, that campfire went on for, like, a, a solid hour of us drinking and smoking and tossing shit into it and cooking food. And <laughs> Including the, the campfire chairs. And then, yes. yeah, yeah, I'll get yes. to that. So, so it, started, it started to pour, and then we all went inside. We all come back out, and then we look at the chairs because it stopped raining, and the chairs were just filled with water. So I sat in one because I'm a spastic mm. and just got my entire well, Gucci no, nutsack it, wet. It was funny because Chad did the exact same thing, like, 10 minutes earlier. And then me and Travis were out there. We were like, okay, we don't want that to happen. So we like tipped out our water. And we were literally standing there like heating, heating our chairs over by the, the fire. fire. They were like steaming off. They were like four people just steaming their chairs off. And Swagger just walks past, doesn't even seem to acknowledge that this is happening. and just sits in one of the chairs. Yeah, and and he goes, just, ah, fuck! Like that. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I was in my underwear for a solid half hour. I took my underwear off <laughs> and I put on the other pair that I brought. And then I... Uh, Took my pants off and I and I dried them. I dried them over the fire. Yeah, like a, like an American Boy Scout. And Swag was just in his underpants for like the rest of the evening. And Chad uh, showed everyone his penis. Yes. Yes. Chad felt Chad felt left out, so he also took off his pants. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. A, little, a little bit more than uh, Swagger did, but and we were yeah. all just in this fucking like little cabin together. Carson, Schlad, and Co. are on the couch. Yeah, you guys looked at his penis for a long time, too. Well, well, it, it was, was inverted. Cabin. It was inverted. Yeah, you guys just kept his staring at it. His fucking cock was inside out. It, it was fucking I, weird. I was, it, yeah. looked like, uh, it, it looked like when you take like one of those... You, you know, like the when you like win a game at like a boardwalk or something, you get like a prize, and it's like the fucking tube that like keeps going inside itself? Yeah. Do you, do, it looks yeah. like, it, it looks like a, it looks like a flashlight for an eight-year-old. Okay. You know the one I'm you talking about? You should stop talking. An Orif? What? 
Did you just this say it's like an orifice? Did you just it, say it, it's <laughs> literally this thing that like you squeeze and squish and it keeps like rolling in on itself? It's like I have <laughs> you never heard of it? No. I'm gonna have to Google this toy. It, it but just, it looked like that. His his cock was inverted. No, oh, it, no, it was not. Yes. I know exactly what you're talking. It's like yeah. a like a thing like it's a, like a tube, a jello. Yeah, like a, they yeah. have like a, gel in it, and it keeps like going in. You yeah. stick your finger in and they, like roll it over your finger. His cock was not inverted. It definitely was. You just weren't looking. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he was looking. He he touched the nuts a couple times. Well, Chad was like standing in front of me. I was just high as fuck sitting down on a chair. His ball sack is at eye level with me. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, hey, Fitz, touch it. And I was like, no. And he was like, do it. And I was like, give it I, a little poke. And I know Chad very well. And I know that I just, I either have to just give it a quick poke or he's just not going to leave me alone. You should have just smacked it. I was going to, actually. <laughs> that's what I, that's but, the bit I always do when he tries to make me uncomfortable with this cock. I just fucking go with the wind up a punch. Oh, I, I like. He runs away. I did that the second time, but I didn't follow through because that would be cruel and it would mm -hmm. probably hurt him a lot. And you'd also be like impacting his penis with your bare hands and then you'd have to watch them. Yeah, and I'm straight. You I don't would want, do that kind of thing. You don't want an SDI. Exactly. I feel like with the amount he drank that night, if you punched him in the balls, he'd just fucking immediately vomit all over <laughs> you. <laughs> just projectile vomit over the entire cabin it was very snug i was like standing over everyone on the couch and i just kept thinking like i was saying to carson i was like don't you just find this hilarious the situation we're in carson's just sitting there with his backpack on legs crossed just like <laughs> he's ready to leave he's ready to go you to the look hotel. so he's been done. asking for you hours looked, you look yeah. really beat i had been camping <laughs> 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 and all I had had to eat was terrible sausages that were not well cooked. They were good. shapes. Were you there for the <laughs> McDonald's that arrived? Yeah, I got McDonald's at the very end, right yeah. before I went to my hotel. <laughs> we ordered fucking McDonald's. We, dude. Ryan ordered Ryan like $600 ordered worth of McDonald's to a fucking farm cabin. 30 cheeseburgers, 20, no, 50 cheeseburgers, 25 quarter his, pounders. His brother, Brady, uh, was in charge of collecting the, the McDonald's, so he had driven out, he grabbed it, and it was a trek, dude, because he had to go across like two, he had to open up a gate and then run across the field with all the McDonald's hugging it while it's pouring rain. Mm. Then he had to open the other gate, open that up, run up the hill, and then bring it to us. And then he brings it in, everyone applauds, and then Ryan goes, wait a minute, it's a little soggy. No, no, take it back, take it back. <laughs> yeah. for, for context on how, how far this was, uh, we took a car to another car on the way out <laughs> <laughs> to get to my hotel. So, Yeah, no, it was, a, it was a trek, but somehow the McDonald's was delivered against all odds. Yeah, it's it the Ryan P effect. It was pretty good. This was a very strange evening. I was really enjoying myself, though. You enjoyed yourself, right? Now. I had a great night. Yeah. See, Carson, <laughs> why'd you have to leave? Why'd you have to go to the hotel? Why? Why? I enjoyed myself too. You did when I wasn't camping. When you weren't camping? So no, no. I mean, it's a funny podcast story. I was saying to myself, "Oh man, this is gonna be such a good podcast story." Mm. In the in the van on the way there. Are you oh, taking yeah? the PC out of us, Connor? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking dog eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, we had a good time. Yeah, I mean, what else happened in that cabin? Basically, we just smoked a bunch of weed and fucking, you know, I tried ke to... I kept trying to hand the joint to Carson. I was so baked, and yeah. I, I didn't realize you didn't smoke. Yeah. Sorry if I offended you. No, you're good. Yeah, I don't I've want been you to offered like... many a joint. Yeah. We just don't want to pressure you or anything. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. <laughs> That, yeah, that, that cabin had a nice aroma at the end of the night. Yes, it smelled <laughs> very funky in there. I wonder if you got secondhand high. Mm. No, I would know. Yeah, you, you would? would know. I don't know. But you've never been high before, so how would you know what being high is like? Oh, true. Yeah, true. Maybe, no I, was, maybe I was a oh, little bit Oh, maybe high. you got high. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. That's out of character. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't imagine Carson as a stoner. <laughs> I don't think it would work. I think it would totally work. It'd be you hilarious. Think? You think Carson could be a stoner? No. You think he could? Pass it would be very one? funny though for a while. Bro. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Cooper just There's tried been, to bring this didn't them. work very well. There's been an accident on the Misfits podcast. Sabotage. That. That's why you don't buy roads. Cooper tried to drag what? the mic what? towards him, and he just he ripped it off the fucking desk. You guys don't have to fix it. You can just hold it like <laughs> Travis is <in> your <laughs> arm. Just hit himself on the head with it. Travis just bonked himself go. on the head with the mic. This is the most scuffed episode. I fucking episode. forgot what I was saying. 
I dropped the whole mechanism. Yeah, here. you kind of. We're talking about uh, the cabin. We're talking about Carson smoking <laughs> weed. <laughs> Something just fell. Yeah, I was going to say, Carson can't function without food. Mm. If he was high, mm. it'd be like that times two. Like That's he'd true. So you'd get really, really fat. Because yeah. <laughs> you would eat a lot if you were high? I think you're a high swagger. No, what I'm we saying. We smoked <laughs> weed at dinner. I know. What I'm saying is when he doesn't eat for a while, he just shuts down. Oh. Mm. So it'd be way worse. I get like a mixture of hangry and um, just like not being able to do anything. Mm. Travis, are you okay? <laughs> Is a mic just swinging in front of Travis's I'm fine, face? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, keep keep the podcast going. Sure, you guys are the. Oh, you're gonna help. Okay, cool. Anyway, I mean, we're in this cabin. We're hanging out. Bucks, I think at this point, actually, I think Bucks and Cooper. You were in the tent as well, right? I have a story. Yeah. So um, it was just me and Bucks in opposite tents. And I we both had no idea either of us were in the tent. And so yeah. Bucks pulled out his phone because he was scared and put the flashlight on and started yelling for people, <laughs> hoping that they were coming down <laughs> yeah. the hill to accompany him. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then sure. I, well, to set this up, I mean, we were down there with you guys earlier. And then we were like, OK, we'll go back up and we'll bring you McDonald's when it gets here. Yeah, you but, wanted Doritos. But, You'd yell that. But that was like a an hour like that we were up there before we came back down because it rained because so, so it was raining yeah. we couldn't go back down so you guys were in these tents solo for like a really long time and we both had no idea each other were yeah. in the tents and s- crazy so he got scared and he started and yelling. T- put the flashlight on and started yelling <laughs> he started <laughs> vlogging <laughs> apparently he was vlogging to himself oh we got carson fixing the mic here and then hey great job nice one so i had the sony's on yeah and so through Whatever the fuck I was listening to, I was really high. I forgot. Mm-hmm. Um, there was just like yelling, and I was like, "Well, I'm fucking dying. I'm in a field somewhere." And mm-hmm. he fell. Uh, and someone's gonna come up with a pitchfork or some shit. But mm-hmm. it was just Bucks screaming for people, and so I yelled back at him, like "Hi" or something. <laughs> and he was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> and we just yelled back and forth at each other. That's so funny. And established in the rain. our bearings in the rain, mm. and then both passed the fuck out again. Amazing. And yeah, at some point we decided like, okay, it's not raining enough for us to head down. We should bring the Maccas. We should bring the blankets and we should actually try and commit to sleeping in these fucking tents for the night. So yeah, we I did. Mean, and it worked out. It worked, it worked out. out pretty well. We grabbed a bunch of stuff. We made the trek down the hill again in the dark. We got through the barbed wire fence and then, yeah, we sort of started setting up our bedding situations. Shalat, your plan was to sleep in the van that we used to drive. How did that yeah. go? Um, I, was, I was super confident in my idea at the beginning of the night. I had the car running beforehand, mm-hmm. you know, all through the storm. The heat was on. Everything mm-hmm. was nice. I, I walked in. I was toasty. Mm. Um, I, got, I got maybe like 30 minutes of sleep and I woke up completely shivering. Really? Because it turns mm. out uh, the heat didn't stay. No. And so um, I opened the door. I, I was like, I couldn't do this. I didn't have a blanket. It was just me in, in my fucking hoodie. Mm. And uh, I try and, you know, knock on the tents to see if anyone would let me in. Nothing. What well, we were asleep by that Why point. Why didn't you just yeah. force yourself into their tent? Well, I didn't want to be rude. <laughs> 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 um, and so in the dark, uh, my phone was dead. Oh. I could. I had to. I had to figure out where the barbed wire was. I had to figure out where there weren't any fucking things that would kill me. Uh, and I slipped through, and I uh, made my way back up to the house. And uh, oh, and you yeah, slept up there. Yeah, yeah, the door was open. They had the fire going, so it was. It was. It was. It was nice. It was nice. It was yeah. toasty. I warmed up real quick. Uh, Chad and Blue were were on the couch. Mm-hmm. S- they're the snorers, by the way. Yeah, yeah. they snore. Yeah. Travis Super snores as well. Mind. He snores a little bit. Yeah, Travis was snoring in the tent. That wasn't that bad. I would reach oh, my you hand. Heard. Yeah. I would you heard. Yeah. You heard his snores. You guys, it's a problem in the house, the goop house? No, it's not a problem in the house. It's just a problem in general. Oh. Carson gets very I, upset. I, Carson doesn't I, really give that much. Yeah, Actually, no. I, Noah's got a... Noah he was has a right. very specific description of Travis's snores. What is it? He doesn't even what know himself. Or Pax oh! No, I have no idea what you're talking about. I just remember that. <laughs> no, what I do remember is it sounded like a generator was running in the room. Sometimes. The blunder bus. The, he oh, was, yes, the blunder bus. That's what I called it. He oh, was yeah. right next to me, so he was sleeping literally yeah. right next to me through like a thin plastic sheet. Yeah. And so I'm just hearing it right in my ear, and I'm like, okay. 
Hopefully this will stop in the next 10 minutes. It was right next to me. It wasn't even that loud. What do you mean? Dude, it was pre- it was pretty annoying. <laughs> it, but that's not your fault. But I remember I would just roll off and I'd tap him. And then I'd, like, I'd, I'd go back like that <laughs> in hopes that I would stir him awake. And then he would stop snoring. And then it would take him the average seven minutes to fall back asleep. So that I, I would race him to, uh, to, to, to REM cycle number one. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually so funny. Yeah. So I got that was such an intensely relatable. I remember, yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> I remember like feeling you hit me in the leg at night. I was like, "What was that?" And then I go back to bed. <laughs> I had no idea this was happening. Well, That's I so swear, funny. Well, I swear, like when I had a roommate in college, he snored like a motherfucker. <laughs> so what I would do is I would just go, just in the middle of the night, just go. <laughs> like that and then just like pretend like I'm sleeping because he would like stir awake and then he'd be like oh it was just a dream <laughs> go back to sleep it's like a Skyrim NPC I was like laying there. <laughs> what was that <laughs> what was that uh, I was like laying I guess it was there, nothing and then like, I would just feel it on my leg I was like oh okay and like I would go back to sleep I was like what was that? <laughs> the second <laughs> time snake. surely you were like okay he definitely hit me yeah, there yeah like the first time I was like was that him Nah, and then I fell back into bed. <laughs> oh, you weren't giving me enough time. I kept losing the race. <laughs> Travis, that reminds me of you and me in the, in the van on the way back today. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I Like, he was falling asleep in the van on the way back today, like, after we were all done camping. Mm-hmm. And he was just sitting there. And you like, you know in school where you, like, fall asleep on your hand? Yeah, and like you'd slowly fall, and then like it would like <laughs> fall out of your hand. You like almost hit your head on the desk or something, yeah. Yeah. and you'd catch yourself. He was doing that a lot. He was just sitting there in the back seat, just like falling asleep. Mm-hmm. And like I, I was watching in the rear view yeah. the entire time. Like I was offer, I offered him something like to help his like to like <laughs> make so he didn't do that. He's like, nah, nah, I don't need it. And then like you fall back asleep again, like do it two or three more times. Like I'd wake him up again. I'm like, are you sure you don't want this? He's like, no. I don't. And then he fell back asleep, like, do it three, four more times. And I offered it one more time. I'm like, are you sure? He's like, no, please stop asking. And then I was like, okay. And then you just fall back asleep and, like, keep doing it. I was like, okay, I'm just going to ignore you then. My head would just plummet. And then it'd get to a certain point, And it'd go, huh. <laughs> like, you just, like, I thought you were trolling me. I was looking in the rear view, like, what is he doing? I was falling, <laughs> I was falling asleep. I know. I was actually, no, I was asleep. Me. Yeah, I, mm. I may have drooled a little bit. I looked over oh. and there was just like a string <laughs> just oh. right above my hand, like the sword of Damocles. I'm sorry. Just... But oh, I love Ooh. that sword. <laughs> No, I actually know what you're talking. Do you guys know what the Sword of Damocles is? I don't. I put it back in because I knew he'd explain it. So the Sword of Damocles is is a sword that was hanging above this dude's uh, head by a thread. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that's it. Yeah, yeah uh, pretty much. Where is it from? Like a fairy tale or something, or I a history? No I don't know. Is it Greek mythology? It's just a thing that people say. It's just uh, sounds like yeah. Greek mythology. Oh, and now yeah. you know. You're now welcome. We know. This is the sort of damn a- educational podcast. This is being very educational. I'm just gonna bring that to every podcast that we're involved with. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah we, I think we've talked about this on the Goopcast. Probably like three times. <laughs> the sword of point. Damocles. Yeah. I'm gonna pass that on though yeah. to every guest. <laughs> we'll find a way to insert it. Oh please do. Like the sword of Damocles. Oh, what's Hold the sword weapon, of Damocles? There. Well, let me tell you. Just use it as a really ineffective segue the whole time. Just yeah. like try and squeeze it in. Uh, before we all tried to fall asleep, like when we first got in the tent uh, and settled down with Bucks, Swagger had like these Ferrero Rocher oh chocolates. Oh my God, yes. He's the like, fucking, the, the, this is like the rich frou-frou fucking yeah. uh, bullshit. It tastes really good. These really fancy chocolate balls. They're, and like, they're like in, in, in the alfoil. Yeah. I say to Swag, I'm like, hey, can I have one of those chocolates? He goes, sure. He just opens it up and starts throwing them I, at him. No, I was, <laughs> just, like, I was literally taking it, so it at him. I was, I was whipping them through the fucking little gate thing, the little zipper. I was just going... <laughs> <laughs> and then Bucks and uh, Mason were like, oh, we want some chocolate too. And I was fucking... <laughs> Yeah, and the next morning we look around and it's just like there was one stomped onto a blanket. There were so <laughs> many just crushed all over and the floor. I was floor. like, "Fuck, dude, we gotta wash so many of this shit." There's yeah. gonna be a lot of laundry. Yeah, but I mean, I slept okay. I was on the air mattress. I was hitting bucks of stizzy, so I kind of just comb it out pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. The last thing Bucks told me before we ceased communications when you guys were gone mm-hmm. was he says, "I have a stizzy," and I said, <laughs> "I'm jealous," and he said. Yeah, and then we stopped talking. <laughs> yeah, so that helped me out pretty good. 
I slept until like, I don't know, seven when we woke up. And then I slept for like another two hours until yeah. 10. Yeah, it was. So, I think yeah. at seven, Swagger got up and left. That's yeah. when we woke up, right? I went, yeah. I, I was shivering. I was extremely cold. Really? And yeah. Because I, yeah. I was so sure I would be cold because I was bare feet as well. Yeah, I, I, was up, I was okay. Uh, you I had was a, bare feet too. You, yeah. had, you had better blankets, I think. You had a Maybe. thicker, you had a thicker blanket. My my blanket was breathing. I could feel the draft uh, go through it. Uh, okay. Um, and I wasn't wearing a hoodie. It was being used as my pillow. And it was like, okay, it's seven thirty. I'm not <laughs> sleeping. It's too cold. I slept when I needed to sleep. I'm just gonna go up to the to to the cabin because you know it was it was like a nice morning. It was clear, mm. you know, and the clouds were just rolling in, so it wasn't too bad. And then. I get to the cabin, I open it up, I see that the, the wood fire is stoking a little low, so I pop some more wood in that bitch, I got that, that bitch heated up. Schlatt I remember was, seeing you. Yeah, Schlatt was sleeping on the air mattress, just, yeah. <laughs> just, 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 just went and back dude, in. Blue and fucking Chad were just... <laughs> dude, rumbling away. That was, it was keeping me I up. Get, we get, it's, yeah, I was yeah, like, it I was like stop. almost <laughs> asleep, I was like almost asleep, finally. Though they were fucking changing songs, basically, the, mm. every time they'd move. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, I it, Chad was, like, <laughs> whimpering. Ch Chad, Chad makes weird fucking noises he when he sleeps, dude. He does. Yeah. <laughs> He's like... Mm. He fell asleep next to me when I was driving to <laughs> It's, like, straight up weird. He's, like, I was, moaning. I was almost there, and uh, one of one of Ryan's goons just walks by. <laughs> oh, it's, what, it's Jordan? Like 5 a.m. Yeah, Jordan gets up. And he's got a fucking bong or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, it's Jordan. And he, he goes out, he smokes. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And he comes back and he's like, oh, hey. It's like, hey. <laughs> Did he have the blonde hair? <laughs> what? Did he have the blonde hair? Yeah. And the glasses? Yeah, 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 that's yeah, true, yeah. It's Jordan. Only Jordan. <laughs> God bless Jordan. <laughs> the mm. only man that could take a five gram dab rig hit and, and survive and just smile and be like, okay, <laughs> can I have a joint? Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a psycho. He's the only guy I know that has a low tolerance for sobriety. You know what I mean? Yeah, he can't deal with it. <laughs> um, but anyway, I mean, the rest of us, you guys slept well? Yeah, we all slept. Schlatt, you slept eventually. Yeah, I did well. Yeah, I, his car was in a hotel. He slept fine. Yeah, I at 7.30, I was like, I really need to use a restroom. So I got up. I used that and came back in and I took swaggers, which was so much more comfortable than the ground. Yeah, it was a nice little donation. Nice. And then, yeah, we wake up the next day. And yeah, I we mean, rode well, we rode we, these dirt bikes around and oh shit. Yeah, man, it was cool. Oh, yeah. Mason was fucking banging on those dirt bikes. I was going dude. so quick, dude. Like I was on one of the small ones, but I was I was going pretty quick as well. It was real fun. I was on one of the big ones though. Yeah, yeah. you were you went on the huge ass green one, dude, with the suspension and shit. I would have busted my ass. Would have broken my tailbone and my fibia. I reckon I hit at least about nearly. I peaked about fucking, I reckon, nearly 70 kilometers. I, I reckon he was going about 70 km. Really? On was, a field? Was, I was going geez. fast. He was really fucking flipping through, dude. Like, just so. Just. Just. The just same I think, I think we, maybe it was 65 km. Yeah, Jesus probably Christ. about that. Yeah, yeah. 70, you would have fucking. 70, I would have eaten shit. <laughs> yeah. Probably fucking Literally, died. if you had slid, dude, you would have hit like like 10 horseshit piles. <laughs> when I was running over piles of horseshit, just going like, fuck yeah. It's like, a, it's like a game of Frogger, except the frog is replaced with piles of horseshit. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had lunch at Ryan's mom's house. Oh, she it was cooked so for us. good. That was good. Dude, her cat is so cool. Yeah, oh, dude. Oh, it was adorable. I had to pet a kitty for like two hours. It was so cool. Got hair everywhere, though. Yeah. yeah, I went to sleep on the couch after I took a shower and had uh, had the lunch because I was fucking exhausted. We were all pretty tired. So I took a nap, dude, and I feel someone like fucking pushing on my side, and I'm like, "What? What?" It was the fucking cat, like using me as like a board to get up to the top of the couch. And I was like, <laughs> "Oh, cool." Yeah, it was a wholesome lunch. It was good. We showered. We mm. felt refreshed. Dude, the shower was so nice, but I still felt dirty after. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> true. The camping does that to you. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, we go back to the campsite. So no one likes camping is what you're getting. Camping at. was yeah, great. Look, we camping roughed it exhausting. out for a night, but, you know, it was fun. It was we got funny. a podcast story. I feel like, yeah. yeah, I feel like the footage will be better than the way that we're serving it to them right now because <laughs> we're sure. all so exhausted. I, sh I shot a fucking, uh, one of those inflatable air mattresses with uh, the bow and arrow. Mm. Yes. There were many twice. shenanigans throughout the night. Lots of good More bits. More than twice. You nearly sent an arrow directly into Noah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I was careful. I, I I wasn't gonna draw that back and let it let it go through, even though I didn't aimed it right at Noah by the tent. <laughs> but like I didn't. It's fine. It, nothing bad happened. 
Nothing bad happened. Yeah, nothing bad happened. Yeah. That's the, Didn't yeah. Ryan shoot one at Bucks in the tent? Or yeah. Was that you? No, it was Ryan. I'm not that irresponsible. <laughs> the car got bogged as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, oh, yeah. yeah they we got were, bogged yeah. bad. Well, after lunch, we, you know, we had to pack up the tents and then... Yeah, we had to leave with the van. Chad, Chad thinks it's a good idea to back the car out and then start doing do- dollies. Well, I, it was kind of my fault, I think, instead of Chad's. I was the one who was kind of... <laughs> I was the one driving it through the field and I uh, may or may not have gotten it wedged. And then, yeah, we were stuck for a good like 15 minutes. Yeah. We tried. Everyone we tried got out pushing. and pushed. It didn't work. We tried again. It didn't work. And then I was like, come on, boys. <laughs> Come on, give her a better shove of this. Well, because you cunts weren't doing shit. Carson I wasn't doing best. shit. He was, no, I tried my yeah, best. We were committed. Co- we were, tri- what do you mean? No, everyone Cooper was tried. on board. Schlatt did. I swear it was just Carson standing there, but when he pushed, I, I didn't we just got stand there. there. Carson you, was under the fiesta. He had, <laughs> one, <laughs> he had one hand on it. Oh, yeah, no, because someone was recording, and I wanted, I wanted a shot of me like barely helping with my hand up and, and just sipping on the sun kiss that i had in my hand <laughs> fucking useless eventually but- though <laughs> we opened up the doors and the windows <laughs> and we managed to push it out and i was standing right behind the tire and it gets mud all over my oh car. yeah it sprayed oh, all yeah. over travis oh, yeah. Fuck that. yeah but we got it free that's what counts right we didn't need to get towed we got it yeah, it was there. all because of me yes, because Carson. i put my sun kiss down and put in some more effort you guys are welcome. Yeah, That's good right. job. Fucking you got us home, Carson. Look at this guy. Gets us out of a gets us out of a bog and, and saves the environment in the same day. Wow. Yeah, I'm I'm a saint. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> yeah, and then we drove home. We drove home. It was like an hour and a half drive. We stopped at McDonald's, had some McDonald's, and yeah, the entire time I was just driving. I was tired, by the way. And the entire trip, I had to just look in my rearview mirror and look at Chad next to me, and everyone was just asleep yeah. except me. I was like, there was like a solid fifteen minutes where we were just chilling, and then we got, we got McDonald's, and like everyone crashed. Five minutes within five minutes after that, everyone was asleep. Yeah, mm. everyone zonked out. Yeah, I actually was not able to fall asleep, uh, but I did enjoy watching Mitchell directly in front of me with his Sony's on, <laughs> and he was like starting to fall asleep, and then he'd like start leaning his head against the window. And then he hit a bump and he'd go thong <laughs> yeah. and wake up it against it. And it was just a repeat yeah, fucking right, thing. Right at the end, I took like a sharp turn and he actually like smacked his head into the fucking window <laughs> and stole to the wake. Everybody heard it too. Yeah. Yeah. And that kind of concludes camping, I guess. I feel like we yeah. left out details. I mean, but Chad smashed that whiskey bottle by accident and cut yes. his whole fucking hand open. Yes. I mean, there were so many disasters and so many things that went like minorly wrong. But overall, I feel like it was a success right the deodorant yeah. stuff just people just kept throwing deodorant in there it was like someone's like i actually need to use one is there any <laughs> left <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we threw all that deodorant cans on the fire fucking bombs dude mm. yeah it was a good time and yeah you'll see the video of it soon the footage of it soon and yeah i mean we might we might remember more of what happened but that's kind of that's kind of our weekend <laughs> all of this like literally though the second half of that story happened today which is why we're so exhausted yeah yeah i woke up at seven today. yeah it's been a long one. And now yeah. Goop gets to go home and mm. go back to, I don't know, recording videos, right? You're Where actually going to get our, our camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah. true. Yeah. 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 Our camera has been found from, yes. the, from the fucking uh, Airbnb party from TwitchCon. And, and so these, these fucking little helpful people are going to come over and, and help us out. You have a quest to go retrieve our camera <laughs> yeah. and send us the footage of the uh, TwitchCon party. Well, we don't know if the footage is actually on the camera. We're yeah, hoping it is. I mean, so. fingers crossed, We're hoping obviously. It is. Yeah. And your zoo footage as well. There's footage for us yeah, yes. Yes. on there too. So. Yes. Hopefully lots of good footage for both channels coming soon. Mm. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's, did you guys want to bring anything else up from the day, from the weekend, from your trip, from your stay? We planted a lot of trees. We did do that. We did. I was going to bring it up, and I don't really know how to introduce kind of boring. it. boring. We I just planted trees. Yeah, well, the whole point <laughs> oh, of this camping we saw trip. kangaroos. Oh, we did see kangaroos. Chad fucking stripped naked and jumped through the go. trees. That, I forgot about <laughs> that, dude. Well, the whole point of this trip was to plant trees for like a Mr. Beast challenge. I'm still not entirely sure how we're going to incorporate it into the video <laughs> itself. Because we kind of just tacked it on the end. Like, oh, by the way, we're planting trees. <laughs> it was... The- 
<laughs> it was the mention, last thing we did. Did we even mention Mr. Beast? I don't right? know. Yeah, we like joked about it, but there was no like direct purpose for the video. Well, it was funny. It was just camping and then trees. Yeah, like. it, it, was, it, was, it was funny because Brady told me when we were planting the trees, he goes, yeah, like we're actually not supposed to plant these trees and keep them planted on this property. So we need to dig them back up after we plant them. And I was like, oh, are you fucking kidding me? We're not doing the that. We're not, we're, they're fucking we are trees. trying to save the environment. We're trying to Brady. save the environment. We're trying to feed 30 cows with 30 trees. Yes. We did plant the trees and we did leave them there. And Chad did strip naked once again. <laughs> and I chased them into the bushes with a stick in my hand. Um, was that filmed? Yes, I believe so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was oh, filmed. Yeah. yeah. There's going to be a lot of things moment. that I see in this footage that I just can't remember right now, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, I think so, A lot too. of things happen. I think there was footage of me in my underwear uh, cooling off. Doing my... squats in the Airbnb. Oh, uh, I hope, hopefully not doing <laughs> the squats. There definitely was. I mean, there were so many random things that happened. Like, one point we went out of the hut to the fire again, and there were just chairs in the fire <laughs> yeah. burning yeah. and oh, melting. Yeah, we, yeah, we didn't touch on that. <laughs> oh, wait, did we? No. no we, we, we went outside, and there's just, like, literally... Like three or four of the chairs were just like tipped into the fire. I think the yeah. wind must have blown yeah. them in. Yeah, well, we we were they were trying to dry them because of the it was they were wet. So I think Eric, uh, Gamer Shops boy, uh, threw them down uh, in front of the fires, <laughs> and then the wind I think blew them further in, and then they just caught fire. And we yeah. come outside, and Fritz is like, guys, guys, <laughs> and he and he picks up the chair, and there's just the, the smoldering plastic is mm. molten and dripping yeah. fire, fire yeah. and he's like, someone get the camera, like right. Right fucking now. <laughs> the only reason we went inside too is because it just started raining super hard. Mm. Yeah. And we couldn't stand out there more. So we had to go inside, just mm. like get away from it. And we come back out and it was just <laughs> just completely fucking metal two chairs rods gone. sticking out of the the fire pit. Yeah. I mean that happened a bunch of times. Like we were out trying to enjoy the fire, dude. That was the best part of the entire trip. The me. fire was cool. The, the fire? Wish we had more time. It's always out chill. There. Yeah. Unfortunately the rain kind of ruined that. But you know it's part of the fun it was fun yeah it was fun either way part of the a nice, it was a nice wholesome drip i think it was good we bonded no goop and misfits bonding mm. <laughs> would you say so carson i feel so close to you guys i know i'm gonna miss you buddy you leave tomorrow yeah you leave tomorrow i can't wait to not be here <laughs> <laughs> away this, from the shapes. Away, away, away from the shapes. Away from that damn ass misfit sign uh, on the wall. You'll be back. You'll be back. And we'll see you guys soon too. I'm yeah. sure. At some point, right? Yeah. We'll yeah. hang out on the internet like we yes, used to. Yeah. Come back. One yes. day Ryan will be like, Hey, I booked you tickets for tomorrow and we'll be like All right. I guess I gotta I guess. come. That's how it works with Ryan. Yeah. Cool. I mean, it would be over an hour. We should probably end it. I'm tired. I'm so exhausted. Let's get out of yeah. here. It's two. I'm it's two in sleep. the morning. Oh, it's two in the morning. You guys want to fuck? You guys want some shapes? You guys want to plug anything? This no. camera, this camera, or this camera? Tell the people what you got uh, going on in your yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. Thank you, Sean Evans. You're welcome. Uh, Goopcast. Goopcast. Go Goopcast. listen to the Goopcast. It's like the Misfits podcast. Um, <laughs> 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 and also uh, check out our IRL channel. I don't know if it's up. Yeah, yeah, if, if it's it is, launched. it is. You know, if it is, it is. If it isn't, it's oh well. There'll be links in the YouTube description, but just look up Goop. You know. Yeah. Well, we'll find it. I mean, <laughs> it's a small problem. It's the 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 it's black not, background with the green text, not the white background with the black. They'll text. know which one. We're is. cooler than the other one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. We're not. Anyways, Gwen. yeah. And go go <laughs> check us out and uh, subscribe to our individual channels. We're also at Goop Media on Twitter. Uh, at Goop Media on Instagram. Oh my else, fuck! It's Cole McCarson. It's what Jay Schlad. It's Travis. T R A V E S. It's C Scoop. C S C O O P. And then we had uh, Hugbox Noah. Yes. So make sure you check out all of them individually. Also, we check also out all have Twitch channels. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's just list everything. Yeah. <laughs> no, right. thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Thank Bye. you. Peace. <laughs>